Hey guys, today we're going to be playing us a little classic gem called Fur Fighters. It was actually um, made in 2001, we're playing it on the PS2. Uh, we found this at our uh, new sponsor's shop called Punch-Out Gaming, located in uh, Forest Lake, Minnesota. I will put... Well, well, let's make sure these are set. Anyways, but um, I'll put a link you know, to their website, um, Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff in the description here. And then I figure later I will end up um, probably doing like an actual more descriptive video on them and their le website and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that'll work. But, um... Yeah, today we're actually going to be covering, covering a bit more of an important topic, and I know I don't usually do those because I just like to dick off, have fun, and that sort of shit, but this one just really ended up kind of getting to me, and I'll tell you how I came across this, because I mean, I'm covering this a little late after it's already happened, but um... You know, basically over like the past week, I keep seeing these posts about how a zookeeper shot and killed a gorilla, which, you know, I don't believe in, you know, slaughtering animals or even hunting for sport. I mean, granted, yes, I believe in the natural balance of order and, you know, you hunt for food. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I just decided not to really get in... Oh, God, these controls. Anyways, okay. I decided not to really kind of get into it all that much because I just figured, you know, it's... It's whatever. It's not really something that sticks out to me enough morally to really, like, have an actual oh, debate over. Shit. To me, it was just kind of like, you know, whatever. I was just ignoring it for a while. But then today, I was scrolling through Twitter... And I seen someone kind of, you know, cover it more in how they sort of talk about how there was a small child involved. And, you know, I started looking into it and reading into it. I never really caught the child's actual age, but based on the video that I seen. And this kid looks like he's no older than maybe four or five years old. Now, there's some speculation as to, uh, you know, what actually happened. Um... But the two theories that I'm seeing, or have seen, is that either the parent was simply not paying attention to their kid and was too busy focused on their phone, which, you know, okay, that's completely fucking neglectful for one, in my opinion. Um, the other theory is that the parent was actually holding the kid over the railing, or whatever, the, and just slipped the last group of their kid and they ended up going down under to which now my response to that is okay that is just completely fucking irresponsible and child endangerment in every fucking sense of the word but you know let's just move forward from there so either way the kid ends up in the cage with the gorilla and it the, the gorilla grabs onto the kid pulls him back whatever is completely holding on to this kid the entire time. And, you know, some people are like, well, maybe he's trying to help. And, okay, don't get me wrong, there is a small probability that could be the case, but I do emphasize very, very small. Because unlike what you see in Disney movies, gorillas are actually extremely aggressive and especially territorial creatures. They are not something to just undermine. And I guess from there, you know, the zookeeper decided the best way to handle the situation, and this is coming from an animal expert, I mean, let's keep that in mind for a second, but I guess his expertise tells him this is too much of a gamble, this is too much of a risk over the safety of a child. And I can't help but agree. You know, and... I know there's other speculation like, oh, but it's still an animal, whatever. And the more audacity of what I keep hearing about it was actually, you know, I kind of posted my thoughts about it being like, you know, if it was my kid in that situation, guess what? 
I would have shot the damn thing to ribbons and set the remains on fire. And I'm sorry, but when it comes down to my daughter, there is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing I wouldn't risk to make sure that she was safe. But then again, granted, I mean, outside of that speculation, I also wouldn't have been too neglectful to make sure that my child was safe. But, you know, whatever. We'll stick to the hy hypothesis of if it somehow happened. Well, that was so, either way, it's like, you know, I, there's just... I don't... Okay. So it just turns into this whole thing about someone leaving comments about how if it was her kids... And let's take this into thought for a moment. She's a mother of two children. But her thought process is, if it was her kids that got themselves in that situation, she would have just left them there. To which, like, I, are, please tell me that you're just throwing on some satire. Tell me that is a sick fucking joke. If you think that your small children at roughly the age of maybe four years old tops should know better automatically, you do not deserve to be, you should not be a parent at all, period. There, you cannot, no, our jobs as parents is to continually educate and protect our children. No matter what. And guess what? As kids, they're not going to retain information all that immediately. That's not going to happen. Just like Emmy will never beat me at this game. Quiet. So, when it comes down to that moral perspective of... I'm sorry, but if you honestly believe kids should just know better instinctively, automatically, without any... Like, you're fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I mean, you just, you might, I don't want to say anything, that's just too fucking horrible. And I gotta admit, it's very, very hard, because the temptation is far too strong. But, how do you, how do you honestly think that? I mean, do you, I mean, is it your hypothesis that you were born into this world automatically, knowing everything, and then just over time, as you got older, somehow you just got more stupid? Is that seriously how the world works? Because if that's the case, then why the fuck did half of my life get thrown into school to learn things? Why were there needs for my family to teach me things about life? To teach me morals? I mean, this is like it's a kind of situation where you're like, you know, or or what's even worse is when they start blaming it on anything but the parents, especially in this situation to where if it wasn't for the parent being a terrible parent, this kid would not have ended up in a fucking gorilla cage. Like, it kind of reminds me of like when you go up to Walmart and you see these kids running around aimlessly because their parents just don't give a shit and then the kid runs around so wondrously that he ends up just crashing into like a random person's cart even if that other person is just standing still even if they're not fucking moving and then you have the parent to come up and be like what the hell are you doing to my kid how like you know, it's, like, God forbid, you know, they could at least be like, oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to my responsibility. Because I forgot that we live in a day and age where people go off and have kids and somehow it's the rest of society's responsibility to make sure that they're raised and brought up properly. Like, I have... I got no fucking... I don't even know how to ha wrap my head around that. Because... Again, going back to kind of my perspective, if it were me in that situation, yeah. I would make sure to keep a better eye on my kid in a situation like that. Especially because, just because you're at the zoo, 
doesn't mean it's necessarily automatically safe. These animals aren't particularly tame even though they're incarcerated, basically is what they are, they're incarcerated. You know, it's not like this happened at a petting zoo with, you know, a bunny rabbit or, you know, just a small, cute, cuddly creature, which rabbits can be vicious too. Those fuckers bite. <laughs> they're evil. But, you know, it's... And again, I mean, if this happened to, like, an adult or even just a teenager, you know, my, my opinion would be totally opposite right now to where, okay, yeah, that's around the time you start to know better. Like, even when kids get up to, like, 8, 9, 10, they're still going to have that ambitious curiosity to try it out anyway, even though they've been told a hundred times, don't do this, it's dangerous. But, I mean, even then, in that age group, they're still going to, you know, they'll still be tempted to try. Hello there. Hi, honey. Do you like rockets? A little bit. Good. Ah, Holy shit. shit! I got a murder. A singular? I did. I went singular. That is like the greatest victory pose of all time. I love how your gun is in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shoot boogers at you! I'll kill you with my head snot! <laughs> Either way, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm. I don't feel like, you know, kind of continuing this conversation right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to get more flabbergasted about it. But, um... Oh, yeah, one quick note on another positive thing. Going back to our newer sponsor, Punch-Out Gaming. Um, we will be attending an event there this Saturday. Where, uh, we will be um, live casting as well as recording a... Um, Cards Against Humanity tournament that we're going to hold for, like, oh, basically anyone who wants to join into it. We're going to have prizes there for them. Uh, we'll have snacky food for the face mouths, you know, and should be pretty fun. And again, you know, even if you aren't able to make it, we'll have it up on the internet, you know, and people can go back and just watch it for shits and giggles, see how it is. And, um, you know, in our gar regards to our previous sponsor um level up games you know we're not trying to give them the shaft you know we still support them we still think they're a great shop as well um i'm just gonna say this like each one you know i i, I love and respect both my sponsors equally and you know even if level up reached out to me and gave me like a similar offer to you know come help host something or just be part of an event Hell yeah, I'd be down for it. I got, I love them too. You know, and they still help post our flyers out and stuff like that. And, you know, right now it's like I just believe in having as much support as you can get as well as giving as much support as you can. So, I mean, I'm not giving anyone the shaft on this. This is just, you know, how it's going right now is we got an event lined up with our newer guys right now and if level up ever to reach out and ask for the same thing yeah we'd be down on the spot so either way guys i mean it's still something to get excited for and i'm really excited for it i can't i can't even tell you either way guys i love you and i'll see you next time hey guys iron pop can here i just want to say thank you all for watching our videos and supporting us um i just want to do a quick shout out to um one of my favorite places here in salt st paul called level up games as you can see you know they do have an official website you can order from them um i just want to do this like you know i'm not officially sponsored by them but they have been awesome enough to you know hook me up with some stuff and they have put you know flyers for our page all over their stores so I mean I really appreciate that and I want to you know help get them out there because they do they like have a great selection on video games from you know the new gen all the way back to like NES Atari and everything in between um, probably the biggest pop uh, figure collection I have ever laid my eyes upon I mean we got over 14 pops and I would say at least the vast majority at least three-fourths of them have come from them 
They're very rare, very hard to find, as well as if you guys have seen um, the Hyena Den video, you also seen the um, Deadpool figurine, which is very rare, very hard to find also from there, as well as that little Xbox figure. So I mean, they are just, they're a great collection of gems as you can see in the pictures here and all. Show you some of the stuff. I mean, they're huge on trading card games as well, board games. They have tournaments almost every weekend, and just that's only half of their store. I mean, you don't even see the other half where they have all the video games and just everything else. Um, comics, um, even today, like they do this frequent thing where they actually have free comic book day, as you can see. Um, they have it going on today, so if any of you are in the St. Paul area and you just want to go check it out, yeah, I mean, you can get up to free. Uh, 10 free comics at once. So, just want to help them get their name out there. I'll put a link down to their website um, and everything else, you know, their social media and all that stuff. Either way, guys, you know, just I want to say thank you to them and thank you to all of you as well. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I love you, my hyenaniacs, and I'll see you guys later.